Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on easily encrypting our data in Django by utilizing the Django cryptography package. So let's get started. Now, the first thing I want to do is just explain a little bit about what to expect. So we're going to create a simple example here by utilizing symmetrical encryption, and that's going to store our sensitive data in the database. And to do so, we're going to use encrypt to be wrapped around our model fields to which we want that data to be encrypted. So as you can see, it's rather simple. Once we've installed the Django cryptography package from the module that is appearing here, we're going to import encrypt and wrap it around the model field specifically that we want to encrypt the data for. So for example, here we have two uh, model fields slash attributes. We have the name here, for example, we have sensitive data. This, for example, could be changed to like PIN or um, perhaps social security code or something like that. And then what you would do is like normal, you're going to specify the data type. So it will be a char field, the max character length. And then you're going to wrap around that particular instantiation with encrypt around it to ensure that the data is going to be encrypted accordingly. So as you can see now, what will happen then is after we have made those migrations and all, and we are entering data in for that particular field, that data is going to be automatically encrypted when we save it to the database. And the good thing about encrypt here is it's going to use a type of encryption that follows bidirectional data retrieval. Okay, so that is a synopsis of what to expect. Now, something I do want to mention before we get started is I do have a simple application here um, running and everything with Django 5 and everything is in place. I haven't made my migrations just yet and I'm going to explain to you why that is. So Django 5 came out recently and of course, uh, as always, as you would expect, there are going to be some mishaps here and there. So with this particular package, there's a deprecation warning here. So what we're going to do for the time being, because this um, thread is actively being working worked on, as I can see here. So I will attach a link in the description so you can follow along. Well, I'll add in a link in the description for everything that's covered in this video, to be clear. So for the time being, we're going to use the latest of, uh, version that is just below Django 5. So Django 4.2.9, that's the closest I can get it up to, to ensure everything works smoothly. But just some uh, emphasis here for you. So what we can do is, first of all, just check our Django um, version here. So I can see I have 5.0.2. And what you're going to want to do is not make your migration yet. So you can just stop everything. And we can just go ahead and simply say pip list. And that's going to confirm the Django version that you have installed in your virtual environment. So what I want us to do is just downgrade slightly. So I'm going to say pip install Django double equals 4.2.9. And this is the closest we can get to before having to go to five. And this will ensure everything works smoothly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for this um, process to be completed and then we can continue. All right, so as we can see, we've installed Django 4.2.9. So let's clear this up and say pip list again, just to confirm. And there we go, perfect, all right. So now we can just run our server just to make sure again. Okay, we need to make those migrations and we can see the version. If I just now refresh this page here, yeah, there we go, 4.2, all right. So what we can do now is we can just make our default migrations here. So I'm just going to say Python manage py migrate. Great. And in order to utilize this particular example that we have here, we need a models.py file. So as long as you have a Django app, you'll be good to go. So for those following along, I'm just going to create a Django app. So I'm going to say Django admin start app CRM. Okay, there we go. I'm going to add that app to settings.py. So I can go here. Like so. So just make sure you add that in. There we go. All right. And let's just run our server just to make sure that um, was linked correctly. Okay. Okay, that's good. 
Right, so let's start the process. So we need to first of all install this uh, package. So let's uh, install that within our virtual environment. So we can just say pip install Django cryptography. Okay, so it will just take a moment to install. There we go. Right, so let's continue. So now what we need to do is we need to go to our models.py file. So my CRN map, models.py. And we can just go ahead and import encrypt from the Django cryptography fields module. Let's remove the comment. And here is the sample uh, model here. So we can copy that, paste that in. And I'm going to change this to person as an example. Okay, we have our first model field here, which is gonna be name. So it's going to take the name of the user. And then we have a sensitive data model field. This can be anything, like I said, a pin, security code, anything of the sort. And the idea is that you just wanna add and encapsulate your default instantiation here of your data type, whether it's the char field and anything optional that you wanna add in parentheses and you add encrypt around it. So if you wanted to encrypt the name, you're just going to want to put encrypt like that, although that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, that is how you would go about encrypting your data. So it's very simple and very straightforward. So what you can do now is you can just say Python manage.py make migrations. Okay, that migration has been completed. Let's push this migration to our database. So Python manage.py migrate. Great. Now what we can do is just register this model in admin.py for clarity. So we can say from dot models since it's in the same directory and you wanna say import and we can import person. So what you can do is say person and then you can say admin.site dot register person. Just like that. And that's what you need. And of course, then you can just go ahead and create your super user and create all of those necessities, but I don't want to waste time here. So that is what you need to ensure that the data that pertain to that particular model field or attribute is going to be encrypted. So all that content that is a part of that particular model field is going to be encrypted. So you can also read the docs for further information. So by default, we use um, SHA-256 for the digest algorithm. So it, essentially the um, cryptographic algorithm that is utilized here for assigning and key generation. In terms of cryptography key here, the default is none here. So since it is none, a key will be derived from our secret key of our Django project. So if there is a particular value here, that's going to be assigned as the cryptography key. Now I will be sure to attach more information in terms of docs here also in the description below, but that's how you can go ahead and set up the process to easily encrypt your data in Django. So that's it guys. And as always, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time. See ya.